Behind me is a 1989 Boston Whaler Super Sport Limited 17 foot. Now let's go through that a little bit. This is a Boston Whaler and it is a Super Sport, which means the interior is all fiberglass. There's no wood in here. There's also these beautiful, easy to deal with bench seats. And the limited part is the key. The limited part says that the entire passenger occupancy area is surrounded by the stainless steel railing. And that means you do not get a ticket for standing up in this boat if you're going above slow no wake speed. What a huge benefit if somebody makes a mistake, picks up their bum, turns around to sit in a different seat and the police see you and they wanna give you a ticket. They will not do that if you have a complete railing around in any of the states I'm aware of. Also, this boat has a 2019 Yamaha four-stroke 90 horsepower engine, which is more than enough power to pull my lardy butt out of the water on a slalom ski with haste. This is a very light boat, so don't let the 90 horsepower fool you. This is not an inboard outboard or an inboard boat. This is a much lighter boat than that. This engine also has a stainless steel propeller on it. It has less than 20 hours on the engine. Uh, we don't use it all that often. And let's just go through a couple of their features while we're walking around. Aluminum Road King trailer with LED lighting throughout means zero maintenance. In fact, you'll see that's a theme through the whole boat. Storage aplenty. So if we look here underneath the um, back seat, this is where all of the life jackets go, which of course you want to make sure you have. And there's also a quick access back compartment where the fire extinguisher is. And there's also a set of flares in there. It rained cats and dogs the last couple days. I had the boat all cleaned and of course it is now dirty. There's also a front storage compartment here, mirroring the back one. Again, lots of space. This is where we keep the ski ropes, the boat bumpers, and a spare paddle for just in case you forget to put gas in the boat. The front anchor locker is uh, also a live well. So this is where we keep the anchor, and th this one does have a drain out to the water, so it will not collect water. The lighting is this beautiful, original, Perco uh, chalk light, which is super desirable. So um, it's all been re-chromed also, so it looks great. And it has a bimini top. There are a couple of small things that if I were to keep this again for the next few years, I would do. I would, there's a, a broken part of the bimini top, which we replaced with a piece of conduit right back there. It works fine, a little bit unsightly. And the seats could probably use recovering. There are one, two, three, four, five, five pieces of seat in there. You can buy those brand new from a, a Boston Whaler site, or you can have them recovered locally, or you can just leave them the way they are. That would be fine. I love this boat, but the kids are getting older and they are no longer wanting to ski, so we are moving it down the road. Check out the video here. Also check out the ad on Boat Trader, which I will link down below. And um, thanks for watching.